As the year 1939 dawned, the world was on the brink of a conflict unparalleled in its scale and devastation. It was a time of uncertainty and tension, the echoes of the Great War still fresh in the minds of many. The Treaty of Versailles, meant to secure peace, had instead sown the seeds of resentment in Germany. The rise of Adolf Hitler and the Nazi Party, fueled by this resentment and nationalistic fervor, brought a chilling new force to the global stage. Amidst a turbulent political landscape, Hitler's ambitions knew no boundaries. Ignoring international pleas for peace, the Nazi regime launched an audacious invasion of Poland in September of 1939, marking the beginning of the deadliest conflict in human history, World War II. The world watched in apprehension as the dark clouds of war gathered over Europe. As the Nazi war machine rolled into Poland, the world braced itself for what was to come. The early years of the war were marked by a series of swift and brutal victories for the Axis powers. Germany, Italy and Japan, united in their quest for territorial expansion and military supremacy, formed a formidable alliance. Their early successes were nothing short of spectacular. France, a beacon of culture and democracy, fell in June 1940 after a mere six weeks of fighting. The German Blitzkrieg, or Lightning War, proved too much for the French and British forces. This rapid defeat sent shockwaves around the world, showing the devastating might of the German Wehrmacht. Across the English Channel, Britain stood alone, bracing for the onslaught. The Battle of Britain, fought in the skies over southern England, saw the Royal Air Force engage the German Luftwaffe in a desperate struggle for control. Despite being outnumbered, the RAF's tenacity and resolve saw them emerge victorious, marking the first major check to German expansion. Meanwhile, the war had spread to Africa and the Pacific. In December 1941, Japan launched a surprise attack on Pearl Harbor, bringing the United States into the conflict. This marked a new phase in the war, as the conflict truly became global. The Axis powers had enjoyed a string of victories, their forces sweeping across Europe, Africa and the Pacific. By the end of 1941, the Axis powers seemed unstoppable, but the tides of war were about to turn. 1942 marked a turning point in the war, as the Allies began to push back against the Axis onslaught. A year fraught with peril and promise, it was the stage for some of the most pivotal battles of the Second World War. The Battle of Stalingrad, a brutal confrontation that spanned over five months, was a turning point on the Eastern Front. The Soviet Union, under the command of General Georgi Zhukov, defended the city against the German Sixth Army. The battle was intense, with both sides suffering heavy casualties. However, the Soviets eventually managed to encircle and cut off the Germans, forcing them to surrender in February 1943. This marked the first major defeat of Hitler's forces, breaking the myth of the invincibility of the German army and giving the Soviets a much-needed morale boost. In North Africa, the Battle of El Alamein marked another turning point. British forces, under the command of General Bernard Montgomery, faced off against the German-Italian Panzer Army, led by General Irvin Rommel, the Desert Fox. After 12 days of fierce fighting, the British emerged victorious, driving the Axis forces out of Egypt and paving the way for the Allied invasion of Italy. El Alamein was a significant victory, not merely for its strategic implications, but for its impact on Allied morale. It marked the end of a string of defeats for the Allies and began a series of victories. Across the globe, in the Pacific Theatre, the Battle of Midway proved to be a decisive victory for the United States against Japan. The US Navy successfully defended the Midway Atoll, sinking four Japanese aircraft carriers and changing the balance of power in the Pacific. This victory halted Japanese expansion and marked the beginning of an offensive strategy by the Allies in the Pacific. With these decisive victories, the Allies seized the momentum and began the long road to Berlin. The tide of the war had turned, and while many battles still lay ahead, the Allies were now on a path that would lead them to victory. From 1943 onwards, the Allies pressed their advantage, pushing the Axis powers back on all fronts. The year 1944 saw one of the most significant operations of the war, 
the D-Day invasion. This monumental event marked the start of a massive Allied push into occupied Europe. Thousands of troops stormed the beaches of Normandy and France, suffering heavy losses but ultimately securing a foothold. Meanwhile, in the south, the fall of Rome in June of the same year was a crippling blow to the Axis powers. The Eternal City, once a symbol of fascist power, had fallen to the Allies, signalling a shift in the balance of the war. In August, the Allies liberated Paris, the City of Lights, from four years of German occupation. The joy and relief on the faces of the Parisians were palpable, a stark contrast to the grim reality of the occupation. As the Allies pushed forward, the Battle of the Bulge erupted in December, marking the last major German offensive. Despite initial success, the Axis powers could not sustain their advance, and the Allies soon regained their lost ground. Parallelly, the Allied bombing campaign relentlessly pounded Axis cities, crippling industry and infrastructure. The eventual fall of Berlin in May 1945 marked the final blow to the Axis powers. On May 7, 1945, Germany unconditionally surrendered to the Allies, marking the end of the war in Europe. This was the culmination of a long and bloody road to victory, a testament to the resilience and courage of the Allies. Though the war had ended, its impact would be felt for generations to come. The world, forever marked by the scars of battle, sought to prevent such devastation from happening again. This led to the establishment of the United Nations, a beacon of hope in a world weary of conflict. But as the dust settled, new tensions arose, giving birth to the Cold War. The once allies, the United States and Soviet Union, found themselves locked in an ideological standoff. This rift also echoed in the heart of Europe, as Germany was divided, carving a line between East and West. Further east, the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki marked the dawn of the nuclear age. These horrific events brought about Japan's surrender, finally drawing the curtain on the Second World War. World War II, the most devastating conflict in human history, had finally come to an end, but its legacy continues to shape our world to this day.